Hello everyone and welcome back to the Rugby Revolution. That was round four of the Six Nations and after the penultimate weekend, England have been declared champions and we saw some exciting rugby. We're back with the top 10 things to take away. We'll start with Ireland's massive 58-15 victory over Italy in Dublin. Where has this Irish side been? Why haven't we seen them play like this yet in the tournament? They look like a completely new team. However, it's all too little too late for Ireland they're going to have a huge 12 months ahead of them if they want to be competitive in next year's tournament and they've still got a massive challenge in Scotland next weekend. Italy really are in a terrible place playing some pretty awful rugby and it's going to take an incredible effort for a new coach to make things better. On to England's 25-21 win over Wales at Twickenham and Eddie Jones really primed his team for the specific challenges he knew they would face. Although it is hard to know what to make of England's dominance on Saturday as the opposition so far in this tournament has been pretty poor. However, when Wales turned it on in the final 10 minutes, England did seem to struggle a little bit. On to Wales, and why did it take them such a deficit to realise that there's a lot more to rugby than just trying to run over the top of people with crash ball after crash ball? Perhaps Wales need to push Jamie Roberts to 13 and find a number 12 that can distribute. Once the ball was past the 13 channel and wider, they looked very dangerous. On to the final game of the weekend and Scotland reached a 29-18 win over France in Edinburgh. It was great to see Scotland showing a composure that goes along with their undoubted talent to see them finally get a win over France. Their last game of the tournament against Ireland next week is going to be very interesting. Scotland seems to have really turned a corner that they've been threatening to for the last 18 months or so. And finally this weekend shows why the tournament should perhaps be played later. Just a month on and this weekend saw much better weather which led to much better rugby. Right, that's it from me guys. Remember to drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Give us any of your thoughts on the weekend in the comments below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the action. I've been Robbie and I'll see you next time. Right, so Six Nations back this weekend, round four, after a, a weekend off. We hate the weekends off, don't oh, we? I hate that, I hate that. The sporadic. Yeah, I know. They've got to drag it out.